A very good morning to Dr. Faisal and my fellow friends. Today, me, Estina Rasu, and my fellow teammates, Mohamad Fikri and Mohamad Farid, will explain about the service that we selected for the project, which is Greylock. Uh, first of all, for the introduction of the Greylock, the founder of the Greylock is a Leonard Koopman, which founded on 2009, and it began as a open source, which is a free software. Where can it use freely? And Greylock released the first commercial by offering in 2016 by making it enterprise product that available. Greylock also built to open standards for capturing, storing, and enabling real-time analysis of terabytes, and it is one of Machine Data, a leading centralized log management solution. Greylock making analysis ridiculously fast and efficient using a more cost-effective and flexible architecture and it also delivers better user experiences. Greylock makes thousands of IT professionals rely on it. Greylock has a comprehensive access to complete data, scalability, special user experience to solve security, compliance, operational and DevOps issues. Okay, next for the Greylock function, mostly it provides a perfect single instance of log collection for the old system. This Greylock comes with handy if the system infrastructure is large and complex. Greylock could be distributed around multiple places and not all team members could have immediate access to all its components. And Greylock is divided into two categories, which are open source Greylock and Greylock Enterprise. So usually Greylock used for collecting data, organizing data, analyzing data, extracting data, and for security and performance optimization. As we can see for the collecting data, Greylock offers an archiving functionality, so everything older than 30 days could be stored on slow storage and re-imported to Greylock when such a needs to appear or need to see it. The Greylock tool also has a power for search, search in syntax. So it is easy to find exactly what we are looking for even if we have a terabytes of log data. So the search queries could be saved. So these are the function of the Greylock. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Mo Fikir Ben and I will be demonstrating the Greylock solution. To do that, I we have to make sure to install a few patch before we are able to perform or to use the Greylock, which is the first we have to check for Java availability. So yes. Java solution. As you can see here, there is no Java in this OS, so I have to manually install Java. Okay, now to install Java, I will be using the OpenJDK 8 JREJ headless. Yes. Now to check for Java to verify the Java station, please command Java version and you can see that the Java is up. Now I will <coughs> now I will proceed with Elasticsearch installation. Okay. Now, to make sure that the Elasticsearch is up to date, I just have to have to call for update and install the Elasticsearch after I have I have put the references the repository key into the. Uh. Now I will begin the Elasticsearch. Installation.
okay next i have to enable the elastic search after the installation and it is it is now enabled now to make sure i to change the cluster name inside the directory over here I have to change into Rela done now we have to restart the elastic search and show the and use the system control to show the LST search status. And you can see it is now is active and running. Yep. Sorry about that. So we can see here that after I have changed the grail log, the cluster name into the grail log, this is how we to verify if the name is has changed. And next to check the status, the status of the elastic search. You can see here that the status is green. Okay, next for the MongoDB, we'll have to get the key from the Ubuntu server. That will show that it has been imported one. And next to mirror. To mirror the Repository to mirror the server into the repository. Then we can start the installation as usual. After the installation is successful, then this is we can use the system control to start the MongoDB and enable it. <coughs> now when Java, Elasticsearch and MongoDB is up and running, we can start by we can start installing the Grella. After the Grella server is installed, then we are going to have to encrypt the password using the password generator. So let's start here with the chain. And once this password generator is installed, we can request it and it will generate an automatic generated password. This password <coughs> we will insert the password into the directory of the Grelog the Grelog folder in which in the etc Grelog server con f dev tc
Now, after the grand server has been installed, we are going to need to generate a password for it. And we will be will be using the password generator. We'll be going into the server configuration file. Inside we'll be going to set the password secret to this and for password for encrypted password of using the SHA tool is Sorry. So this is will be the my will be our and our password for SHA SSE two. After we have enabled the password for this server, we are going to make sure the email is up and running and a few more features in it like the time zone. Okay. One, then replicas is zero. Okay, and lastly, the state by address is. One to seven to zero to zero to one the colon nine thousand. After everything is checked is checked out, we are going to save and try to restart the product server and make sure it's operational. And you can see here the status is active and running. And now to verify the installation is successful is using the next step dash TLPN. So install the net to space. And then we can check the Gerlock server. Having this result meaning the installation is successful. After the installation is completed, you can go and try to access it using the 
the FIFA IP, IP address which is the the one so <coughs> when the Greylock server is successfully installed it will show us the interface by using the web browser then you just plug in just like I have configured earlier that is all for the Greylock installation thank you so this is a review of how Greylock works first it will send in first log messages it works same like Wireshark when we want to capture traffic and monitoring some sort of connection before we can monitor it and and next do something with your data if we decided to communicate with the source of the traffic and then we can decide what to do with the traffic and later later i will give the example in the demonstration thirdly is create a dashboard where we can decide what kind of information where we would like to focus on and also i will explain further in this video and lastly be alerted this is only happen if we receive alert and trigger action when something interesting or unusual happen okay something unusual happen so we will be alert okay so first send in the first log messages uh, we click we go to the system and click input so here we can decide on which we like to monitor for example i will show for random http for random http message generator okay click we can see down here click launch and select the node which this PC location the title is system testing title set system testing same like here and the source name is which like which we want to monitor traffic right here I will decide for google.com and click start input and we can get the result in the search section ok search and we can see every 5 seconds ok this clear log will log all activity happening in 5 seconds we can change it more further by click here and to stop by click here and to change the destination is right here for now I will show the overview of general this monitoring tool right, right here is all the field that available on this PC in which we can see the message board for example we got message and source here the source the source is the google.com and we can get the http method which is we can know the request method in the google.com so it will be look 
shopping we'll keep going using uh, the get method from this source next I will show the timestamp this is we can monitor when the traffic is going on from here more specifically from here we can add any useful or which one we want to monitor into dashboard which focus on those specific traffic for so for example I will add to dashboard choose system setting from here already at the from dashboard after I add the dashboard we can see from here I put some account from the result area and the histogram of the system setting if we if we wish to use another dashboard let's see another thing to monitor for example I would like to change the other traffic like from YouTube So title I will fill here uh, YouTube excuse me YouTube and the description I would like to choose H I would like to choose uh, HTTP method click I just go to the search and click youtube.com oops uh, I guess it's not doesn't work here uh, uh -huh. ok <laughs> so I have to go to input and use the input which is the random HTTP message generator sorry I forgot ok launch the new output for title is is youtube and the source name is youtube.com save and it will start automatically so from here we can get the source from youtube.com in the search section can see from the resource of youtube.com and the one that I mentioned it which is HTTP method ok HTTP method see we can see the get and the post also we can quickly generate a chart a card from it so from here I want to add the graph into the dashboard and just click here and create and that okay and that's it for the gray log testing it shows the gray log has been successfully installed thank you Lastly, for the conclusion, the purpose of Greylock build or design is to deliver the best storage, log collection, enrichment and analysis. So Greylock made simplicity in exploring, searching and visualizing data which means no expensive training or tool expert are required for the Greylock. So Greylock contain design, scalability and flexibility that will allow us for faster data analysis, infrastructure less expensive and easier to manage the environment. So having Greylock is one of the best solution that can face increasing data volumes, enable flexible analysis, reduce complexity and increase more security and performance data while providing scalable solution to support current and also for the future technology. So this is the conclusion for the old Greylock um, service. So thank you. Mm -hmm.